Shields up, Iron Breakers. How are you doing? Welcome back to the Elden Ring blind playthrough. And today we're gonna find out just what in the hell is inside this room. Let's go. Godfrey the fir Oh, damn. I want that axe. Can I have it? Oh god. Okay, I just dealt way too much damage. He is relentless. Very well, Godfrey. First Elden Lord. We'll have words with you. That's a pretty cool fight. I like how punishing it is. It feels very... You know, he's very on top of you the whole time. Does not let go. The thing was, I was suspicious that because of the amount of damage I was dealing, that this was like the first part of another fight. And I'm happy that it isn't because that would have been annoying. If this was like a Renala situation, I, I would have been annoyed. Because I don't like that. I don't like when they do that. And I... I I've heard from people that that happens more often, so we'll see. Uh, what was the thing? Oh, yeah. Also, I used a rune arc for this one. That was because I was just getting my ass kicked. Um, let me take a look-see here. We can now equip another charm. Okay, so I want to put this one here. And then this one here, because these are the ones that we don't want to miss out on. And then we have Radagon Sword Seal, and now we can have another one. I think we're going to go straight up for strength. I think we're going to go for strength. Uh, we also have Faith, Intelligence. Oh, there's this one which greatly boosts physical damage negation. I like this one a lot. We might do this one. 80,000 runes we got for that? Damn, son. That's a whole lot of runes. I didn't even realize that. Okay, we're going to level that up. We're going to level this bad boy up. Let's get... Uh, do I do more strength? I think we're going to do more strength. Yes, we are. I was hoping to get his weapon. Like, I've seen that axe so many times. I want that axe. But I guess they're just not going to give it to me. You see Albanorix here. No, these are not Albinorix. These are finger crones. There's a bunch of dead finger crones here. Why? Did 
Did Godfrey kill the finger crowns? Was Godfrey challenging the will of the, of the Earth Tree? So many questions. <clears throat> I'm also wondering if Godfrey was Godric's father. Godric and Godfrey. I think it would make sense if he was Godric and Godfrey's father. Some more holy grease. Which apparently we're maxed out on. Okay, so the path that we're supposed to follow is that way. Well, actually, there's two paths. Or is there only one? Actually, there's only one, because this place... Don't tell me you've put a secret passage in here. I'll be mad if you did. You don't want to jump down there. Somber Smithing Stone 5. Now, does this take me to... I think that tree is going to take me to the next night. The Crucible Night, that is. We can jump onto this rooftop and it might give us access to other areas. And there's an elevator. Well, we have the... The Side of Lost Grace, which just lets us come back here for whenever I want to beat up against that Crucible Knight. Oh, actually, the Crucible Knight is that way. Regression alone reveals secrets. Regression? Renala. This, this, the first time you see this statue is at Renala. Maybe. I don't know. It's when I first saw it. The shield perfumers are much more dangerous. Very well, Mr. Crucible Knight. We meet again. This is one of the tough ones. God damn it! Why don't you settle down? Why don't you settle down? I just did a boss fight, okay? Why don't you settle down and eat this? Mm. The boom hammer! Bitch. Dude thought he had something on us.
Barrier of gold. Okay. I'm greatly increases magic negation. Is there like flavor text to that one? This incantation was used by the champions of the Earth Tree in the first and second Larian Wars during which the red haired Radagon joined the heroes' ranks. Radagon fought against Lyurnia. So this elevator is just here so that you see the whole thing about regression. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure I can't survive this fall. There's no way I survived this fall. So would you be jumping from here? To there? No, there's no way. There's no way you can jump because it's at the same height. It's either at the same height or it's higher. But you have to be able to get there. Because there's an item there. Otherwise, there wouldn't be an item there. Rooftops here. I can jump onto these rooftops. Oh, mm, no. I mean, I can, but... I don't think I want to. Jump onto these rooftops as well. That's no good. Okay. No, no, no. But we have to figure it out. There is treasure there. And I will mark it. So if we aim it, like, right around here. We zoom in. There's treasure around here. Have I been there? Oh yeah, this is the other place. Dude, I am now obsessed as to how to get there. Anyway, it says here, regression alone reveals secrets. Regression. What does that even mean, regression? Be an emote? Upwards, downwards, weight, wave, strength, bravo, casual, beckon, jump for joy, triumph of the light, finger snap, rallying cry, heartening, my lord, reverential, as you wish, polite, bow, bow, what do you want, by my sword, fire, spur me, the ring, erudition, crossed legs, grovel for mercy, inner order, rapture, prayer, hmm... Doesn't get any more regression than this. Fetal position. Nah. This probably has a different meaning. Again, like I said, there's a statue like this at Renala's. I don't remember if you have to do Renala before coming here. I don't think so. I think we came to Altus before we did Renala. But uh, let's take a quick look at Renala, and then we're going to go back up and we're going to take the tree down. Wait, regression alone. Regression could also mean going back. Not just back in time, but just going back. See, this is where we first saw the statue. Pretty sure we didn't collect anything that would, that would let us open this. Bach is gone. No, his corpse is still here. Bach, why? I'm so sad. Ah, is it thy Be not alarmed. 
Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to Earth Tree Sanctuary. And from here we're gonna take the tree down. Do I have to take the elevator for that? I don't think so. No. I don't think we have to take the elevator for that. Wonder where Molina is. Can I even take this? Oh god. Nope! Never mind. Never mind. I guess we can't take that. So at this point, I'm at a loss. We can go... It's like we defeated the boss, but there's an item up there, which means we can go further up. Oh, we can probably take the tree up instead of down. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Either way, I need to go get my need to get my runes. My runes. Can we go up from here? No, we can't. So we've effectively hit a dead end. This has to be the first time this actually happened to me. Regression alone. We need to figure out a way to go up. Wait, there's a... There's a branch over there that goes up. Okay, we gotta take that branch. How do I get to that branch? Oh, it's from here. Dumbass. Cho dumbass. Let's go. Then we can also go... Can I climb? How do I climb here? Because you know there's a way to do it. Ah, oh, come on. Don't mess with me. I know there's a way to do it. Don't tell me I'm supposed to break that thing. So many finger crones. Seriously? Seriously, my guy? A murderer was waiting for me. What is it with all these stones? I expected great chest. I was disappointed. Those of you who have played Dark Souls know exactly what I'm talking about. Blessing of the Erd Tree. Now this, if there's anything that would have a lot of lore, it'd be this one. 38 fate. 
Grants greater blessing to self and nearby allies. Grants greater blessing to the cast nearby allies, gradually storing a large amount of HP. Continue. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The earth tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such the course of all life. Another boss fight. 33,000. This is as close to the earth tree as we're going to get. So this would be Morgoth the grace given. I can't see anything. I don't want to lose 30,000 souls. I don't want to lose 30 something thousand souls. So I would rather not start this fight right now. Okay. I mean, I can just... How much do I need to level up? Mm, 23,000. Hero's rune. 10,000? 15,000. That puts us much closer. Uh, okay, tell you what. I'm just gonna use a bunch of the smaller ones. Uh, let's use like 47 of these. I don't even know how much that's gonna amount to. It's not gonna be much though. Actually, that about does it. Okay, and now I'm happy to go ahead and beat this boss. Beat on this boss. Margaret the Grace Given. Let's chat. Let's have ourselves a wee word. Please, exposition. Graceless, tarnished. You again? What is thy business with these thrones? Can I kill you already? Ah, Godric the Golden. The twin prodigies, Mikola and Melania. General Bradan, Praetor Rikard, Luna Princess Rani. Willful traitors, all. Thy kind are all of a piece. Pillagers, emboldened by the flame of ambition. Have it writ upon thy meager grave. Felled by King Morgoth. Last of all kings. Oh, so you're not Margot, you're Morgoth.
It's raining swords. Remembrance of the Omen King and Morgoth's Great Rune. I actually played like ass. I really did. But goddamn, the power of two big ass hammers cannot be ignored. <laughs> two big ass hammers. Okay? That's how you get it done. All right, you just put equip two big ass hammers. I had to actually reduce my armor because I could not just carry around two big ass hammers. <laughs> uh, I'm surprised that uh, this was this easy, but then again, I guess I came in here too early. Talk. The Erd Tree wards off all who deign approach. We are... We are all forsaken. <laughs> Tell Margot the, the target I sent you, okay? Tell Margot I sent you. Not Margot. Margot. Tell Margot I sent you. None. And Lord, thy deeds shall be met with failure, just as I. <sighs> but I don't want to go to the earth tree. I want to leave. Let me leave. 
Oh, you're gonna force me to go to the Earth Tree? I didn't want it to come to the Earth Tree yet. I don't want to touch the Wall of Thorns. Impenetrable thorns refuse all. None may enter the earth tree. Good. Oh, good. This is good. Wait. If I can't leave and I can't go forward... Of course. Hello again, old friend. Allow me a moment to converse with you. Please. You were unable to enter the Erd Tree, no? Yep. Prevented by the mantle of barbs. The thorns are impenetrable. A husk of the Erd Tree's being. That spurns all that exists without. The only way to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord is to pass the thorns. And the key is My the great souls. Serves to aid in that very act. So I'd like you to undertake a new journey with me to the flame of ruin, far above the clouds. Upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants, then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. Rolled Medallion. I wish to journey with you once more to the Flame of Ruin. Far above the clouds, upon the snowy mountain tops of the giants, then I can set the Erd Tree aflame and guide you down the path to becoming Elden Lord. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. Now, let's go get the great room. Oh, I actually... It's not this one? The rolled route. Yeah, I know, I know, I know about this place. I've been here. Uh, okay. So... If I go here... Because if it's not that one, the West Altus one, then it's got to be the other one that I teleported to at the end of this bridge. Oh, and by the way, I've been neglecting to do one thing. And that's my bad. I'm sorry. It's just I didn't realize that these also had descriptions. Well, I think I read this one. Remembrance of the regal ancestor spirit hewn into the earth tree. The power of its name can be unlocked by the finger reader. Uh, ancestral spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the earth trees. Life sprouts. Yeah, I remember reading this one. A feeble man sought power through the grotesque act of grafting. One day will return together to our home bathed in rays of gold. In her youth, Rinala was a prominent champion who charmed the academy with her lunar magic. Becoming its master, she also led the Glenstone Knights and established the House of Caria as royalty. This is the one that I, I don't think I read. His people called this out to me. The Red Lion General wielded gravitational powers which he learned in Celia during his younger days. Also, he would never have to abandon his beloved but scrawny steed. He learned how to wield gravity just so that he could ride on his tiny horse. 
Members of Morgrad, the Omen King, hewn into the Earth Tree. The power of its... Wait, are these all hewn into the Earth Tree? Yeah, you gotta get all of them. Uh, the power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, can be used to create bounty of runes. The thought... No, though born of the Graceless Omen, Morgoth took it upon himself to become the Earth Tree's protector. He loved not in return, for he was never loved, but nevertheless, love it he did. Interesting. Let's see if we can unlock his rune through here. Nope. Okay, we have a problem then. We have ourselves a problem. Because if it's not the West Altus Tower... If it's not this one... And it's not the one... Where is the one that I'm at? Oh, wow, it's definitely not that one. If it's not this one. If it's not that one... This is Lyurnia. It definitely feels like it should be West Altus Gate. Could he be from this one? No. No, that wouldn't make sense. But I mean, I might as well go up there and see if I can get his rune. I doubt it. I don't think it would make sense for the same tower to give two runes. Because the whole point is for you to climb on top. But it's like, considering that Morgat... Not Morgat, Margat. Margat was associated with this one. Yeah, this one doesn't work. Okay. In that case... I mean, we know what time it is. Dude! That's a lot of scrolling. That's a lot of scrolling! Dude, 120,000 souls we got for that, dude. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this and this. Now you! Wow. You managed to return. You know what this means. The Earth Tree has burned you. The fingers remain still. Shaken by this turn of events, they are busy consulting the Greater Will. When they are finished, the fingers will again offer their guidance. But thousands, if not tens of thousands, of moons must first pass. No matter for me, but you. How will you ever manage to wait? My, oh my. Receive the equipment of champions. Oh, we got this from the other guy. The briar armor. It's not too heavy. Battered and iron armor from a foreign land worn by Elamir the, the briar. The winding rusted iron briars are a mark of the guilty and typically indicate a sentence of death. Elamer murdered numerous instructors and merchants and was known as the bell bearing hunter. Wait. So he was the one who was running around murdering the merchants. Interesting. Oh, we got the fellowman cloak. Cloak of ragged fur warned about the exposed body of Margaret the fellowman. Having slaughtered countless champions during the Shattering, the Fell Omen has become horror to those who harbor ambitions for the Earth Tree or for Lordship. Is Margot and Margot the same people? The same person? I don't actually know. I think I'd like this, though. Assuming this is a chest armor. 
I don't need to tell her. Remembrance of the Omen King. Warped blade of shifting hue used by Morgoth, the Omen King. The accursed blood that Morgoth recanted and sealed away reformed into this blade. Unique skill, cursed blood slice. Brace then charge forward to deliver a downward diagonal slice. The bloody trail of the blade is followed up by a burst of flame. Additional input allows for a follow-up attack. Regal Omen Bairn. Doll of a curse born bairn from the Earth Tree's royal line. Uses FP to unleash many wraiths that chase down foes. Omen babies born of royalty do not have their horns excised, but instead are kept underground, unbeknownst to anyone, and imprisoned for eternity. These memorial fetishes are fashioned in secret. Ugh. Why does this one cost 5,000 souls? This scales D with Arcane. Our 35 dexterity. Damn, son. 110 crit. Not interested. So far, none of the really big weapons have interested me. Except maybe the Axe of Godric, I guess. I want to burn the Impenetrable Thorns. A bit. That is not the domain of mere men. You want to bet? The burning of the earth tree is the first cardinal sin. And you say you seek the power of the rune of death too? The rune of death goes by two names. The other is destined death. The forbidden shadow plucked from the golden order upon its creation. Uh, unleashing the room now would be unthinkable. The fingers would never permit it. Nor would the greater will. Mm. I gotta give a fuck about what the fingers want. But here we are. The fingers dormant, severing our link to the greater will. The realm and all life in ruins. Impossible events transpire beyond the ken of the fingers. Who is to say that the cardinal sin must be cardinal forever? Go on. Finish the job. Take the course you deem most worthy. You must find kindling. Only the smoldering flame in the great forge of the giants on the highest peak in the lands between can burn the earth tree. But special kindling is required to reignite the flame. For the flame to burn the earth tree, a sacrifice is needed of one who envisions the flame. And can lead you to the rune of death. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. I thought they were silent, you dumbass. You're so dumb. Just like these two dumb fingers. It's like Vulcan. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Give a crap about those fingers. How about you? If you're heading to the Forge of the Flame of Ruin, in the snowy mountaintops of the Giants, you'll need to find the Grand Lift of Rold. Beyond the Forbidden Region. Well, go if you would. Take no heed of Cardinal Sin. The two fingers lost their purpose a long, long time ago. I'm glad we agree on that. 
But this does throw off one of my theories, which was that the two fingers are basically one of the roots of the earth tree. This just throws that completely out the window. That theory was a thousand percent wrong. Oh, well. Okay, he's not saying anything. They're not saying anything. There's one more place I want to visit. This episode's gone on a little bit longer than usual, but there is one more place I need to visit. And Because we did complete one of the quests, and we know where we're supposed to go now. If you follow this, it cannot. Okay, she's not going to tell me anything. He, however, is probably going to be thankful, and he's going to reward me. Yeah, we beat those two dudes, didn't we? Uh, I had hoped you'd soon return. I have the reward from Lady Tanith. Take it. It's yours by right. Gelmir's fury. Let us tread the path of the recusant together till we reach the miserable death that awaits us. Eh. You still alive? You have anything new? No? Okay. Well. Have you any strange sounds here? At the manor, something beyond the walls, like breathing or slithering scales. Oh, fie, what am I saying? It just isn't possible. I must be tired. You're hearing a dragon. Sometimes, like breathing. Oh. That's good to know. How about you, Patches? You got something to tell us? Also, I should look at the... That's right, there's more than those rooms. I don't think I've seen anybody else in here. But you never know. Okay. Batches, you bastard. Hello again. That's a reward. <laughs> Sharper than you seem, aren't you? Yes, I am. Just holding on to it for you, you know. Here you go. The reward for hunting Tragoth. All yours. Magma whip candlestick. What? Stingy. Try to find it in your... Yeah, 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 yeah. Ritual implement of three-pronged candlestick with solid flames formed at the Mount of Mount Gelmer. When we deal that as a weapon, the flames become supple whips of lava. It's an interesting weapon, but not something that I'm interested in. I, I don't even like the animation on this weapon all that much, personally. Uh, one more thing was the new spell that we got, which is... Isn't it one of these? Is it? A, oh, it's actually one of these. All right. Covers area with Surge of Magma from the Earth. One of the sources of the developer from the Magma of Mount Gelmir. Conscious of Surge of Magma from the Earth covering the area charging extends the Surge of Magma. The sorcery is held to represent the fury of the volcano, but the arrogance of attempting to harness it is solely that of men and serpents. Serpents. So not a dragon, a serpent. Anyway, I'm going to be calling it here for this episode, you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Elden Ring blind playthrough. The next episode, we shall take the road outside of here and onto the next area of the map. But for now... This is it. If you guys are enjoying the series, do remember, hit the like button. helps out a lot. And uh, remember, subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.